I think this is life or death of the Republican Party, and I, I don't, that, I don't, that's not an overstatement. The party has to stand for something, and they elected, we have nominated somebody who couldn't uh, uh, exert moral leadership, and that's what the president is supposed to do. They're supposed to exert moral leadership so the people understand where the country stands. And when the president, who I, I claimed all through the primary was not a, really a Republican, but he is a Republican, and he's the head of the party by virtue of being president because our party nominated him. When he cannot provide moral leadership, then the party has to decide uh, what they're going to be. And the stain of racism is now splattering all across the party. And that's why you see people, and, I'm, and thank God, that people are, uh, in the Republican Party are coming out and breaking away and providing some moral clarity. But it's incumbent upon the president to do that. But couldn't you rightly say, if you were a critic of all these the senators who jumped out so quickly, you knew exactly what you were buying when you went into the store and you supported Donald Trump last year, when you thought he'd be the, the right nominee for your party or when you thought he should be president of the United States. You knew what you were getting. These signals were there during the campaign. Yeah, absolutely. But now we can take corrective action. Um, it's, it's, it's a little late, but the party needs to hold uh, Donald Trump accountable. Um, on, and particularly here, because it, it's... The Republican Party, and I don't want to make this a political thing because it's bigger than that. The Republican Party was founded as a freedom party. It was actually founded as a human rights party. We would say a civil rights party today. It has a rich and proud history of being a freedom party. People don't know that today. And now you see a white supremacist rally and people are relating to Donald Trump. People are looking at the Republican Party as if the Republicans support that. And the Republicans have to decide, is that the party that they want to be or be associated with? And it seems, as we were talking about, so politically easy. Scaramucci got it. Like, he's yeah. redeemed. Like, he came out and said, this is so clear. This is, you know, yeah. this is an underhanded softball pitch to the president to knock this thing out of the park. And, and he whiffed. As a white. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube. And make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. And you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.